glucose in plain are given in three forms Cartesian, parametric, and polar. In today's lecture, we will study tracing of Cartesian curves. While studying Cartesian curves, we will study these properties of the curves. We will find its symmetry if it is passing through origin. And if passing through origin, then what are the tangents at origin? We will find its intercepts, tangents at intercepts, asymptotes parallel to the axis, a region of absence, and the variation if the curve is present at infinity. These are simple curves for your reference. Y equal to x square is a parabola symmetrical about y axis. X is y square is a parabola symmetrical about x axis. A x y equal to a square is a rectangle or hyperbola. This symmetry is about origin or in opposite quadrants. And this circle x square plus y square equal to a square has infinitely many axes of symmetry. You can use these as a reference lines to study these properties. Now, the tracing of curves, this one, uh, symmetry of the Cartesian curves, these are the conditions here. If all powers of x in the equation are even, curve is symmetrical about y axis. Remember that all word is important. All powers of x must be even. If single power is odd, then symmetry will not hold. Similarly, if all powers of y in the equation are even, symmetry about x axis, by interchanging x and y, equation remains unchanged, then the curve is symmetrical about the line y equal to x. If by replacing x by minus y and y by minus x, equation remains unchanged, symmetry is about y equal to minus x. And if replacing x by minus x and y by minus y, equation remains unchanged. Actually, this is a condition of odd function. Then the curve is symmetrical in opposite quadrants. Now, we have to find if the curve is passing through origin. And that's very easy to find, actually. Uh, the equation f of x, y equals 0 should not contain any constant or in other words the 0, 0 satisfies the equation then the curve passes through origin to find tangent at origin we have a very simple method here equate the lowest degree term or terms in the equation to 0 for example the equation y equal to x square the lowest degree term is y equal to 0 that is the equation of the tangent and in the equation x cube plus y cube plus x square minus y square equals 0 x square minus y square equals 0, that is y equal to plus minus x are two tangents to that curve at origin. So it's simple to find tangent at origin. After tangent, after origin, we'll study if the curve has any intercepts with the two axes. It's very simple to find x intercept put y equal to 0 and to find y intercept put x equal to 0. Now to find tangent at these intercepts, we can find the slope of the tangent at those points by finding dy by dx there or shift the origin to the intercept. Remember now that intercept will be the new origin and we can find the tangent at new origin by equating the lowest degree term to 0. Next property is the asymptotes. Look at these figures here as x tends to a this y tends to infinity and here as y tends to b x tends to infinity these two lines are asymptotes parallel to the axis this is parallel to x axis and this is parallel to y axis they are also defined as tangents at infinity now to find these asymptotes parallel to x axis equate the coefficient of highest power of x to 0 and to find the asymptotes parallel to y axis equate the coefficients of highest powers of y to 0 now we'll find the region of absence. Uh, we have to find key in which part of x or y axis this curve is absent. If the symmetry is about x axis, express the equation in the form y square equal to fx and find the range of x where y square is less than 0, that is y is imaginary. If the curve is symmetrical about y axis, express in the form x square equal to fy and find the range of y where x is imaginary that is x square is less than 0 and finally if the curve is present at infinity you find the variation of the curve as x tends to infinity we have to find how y varies as x tends to infinity or how, y, how x varies as y tends to infinity 
it happens many times that even after finding all the properties you are not able to visualize the curve so this table may help you you can easily find at any point that point may be origin or intercept if symmetry is about x-axis and tangents are parallel to x-axis the shape of the curve at that point will be like this it's called cusp if symmetry is about x-axis and tangents are parallel to y-axis then it will be parabolic at that point if symmetry is about y-axis and tangents are parallel to x-axis it's a parabolic here again upwards or downwards and if symmetry is about y-axis and tangents are parallel to y-axis then the shape of the curve at that point will be a cusp again upwards or downwards depending upon the region of absence with these uh, discussions now we can start solving examples which will help you to understand these concepts this is the first curve a y square is equal to x square into a minus x here a will be always a positive constant this is symmetry about x axis as powers of y are even this curve is passing through region as there is no constant term present and lowest degree terms are y square equal to x square rather a y square equal to a x square cancelling a we get y square equal to x square so the two lines y equal plus minus x are tangents at origin to find intercept if you put x equal to 0 we get y equal to 0 so origin is the only y intercept and putting y equal to 0 we get x equal to 0 and x equal to a so the curve cuts x axis at a0 again besides the origin to find the tangent at a0 we will shift the origin to a0 so x equal to x plus a and y equal to y by shift of origin formula putting these values in the given equation we are getting this new equation a y square is equal to x plus a square into minus x the lowest degree term in this equation is minus a square x equal to 0 that is x equal to 0 means y axis is tangent at origin that is new origin with reference to the old system at a0 the line x equal to a is the tangent now to find the asymptotes highest power of y is uh, y square and coefficient is a and a equal to 0 we don't get any straight line which is parallel to axis so there is no asymptote similarly the coefficient of x highest power of x will be uh, x cube and coefficient is minus 1 equating to 0 we don't get any straight line so this curve has no asymptote it's very easy to find the region of absence in this example y square equal to x square into a minus x upon a x square and a are always positive so sine of y square will depend upon a minus x and a minus x is negative if x is greater than a so for x greater than a y square less than 0 so in that part of x axis curve is absent and as x tends to minus infinity y also goes to infinity so this curve is as shown here this is the graph of the curve this is a0 and this is the tangent at a0 these two lines y equal to x and y equal to minus x are tangents at origin and this goes to infinity in the second example y square into x minus a equal to x square into 2a minus x this is again symmetric about x axis this is passing through origin as there is no constant term but this is very important here if you try to find a tangent at origin you are getting y square is equal to minus 2x square so there is no real tangent at origin and when this happens that point origin will be an isolated point means curve is absent in that part but that point only satisfies the equation to find intercepts put x equal 0 we get y equal 0 origin is the only y intercept putting y equal 0 we are getting additional point x equal to 2a and shifting the origin to 2a0 this is the equation new equation of the curve which is passing through origin and equating lowest degree term equal to 0 we are getting x equal to 2a as the tangent to find asymptotes here the highest power of y is y square and the coefficient is x minus a so x minus a equal to 0 gives x equal to a as an asymptote parallel to y axis and equating coefficient of highest power of x minus 1 to 0 we don't get any asymptote so that is the only asymptote here x equal to a to find region of absence now y square is x square into 2a minus x upon x minus a I have found the table here uh, actually it is important to know here at what points the sign of y square may change 
x square will never change the sign. 2a minus x will change sign at x equal to 2a and x minus a will change the sign at x equal to a. Of course, any function changes its sign where it becomes 0. Now, these two points a and 2a are dividing x axis into three parts. x less than a, x between a and 2a and x greater than 2a. And in this range, these are the signs of the two terms and depending upon that, these are the signs of y squared. So, this curve is present between a and 2a only. In other part of x-axis, this curve is absent. Uh, using these properties now, we can draw the curve and the curve is like this. This is 2a0, tangent at 2a0 is parallel to y-axis and x equal to a is an asymptote and this origin is an isolated point. Next curve, y square is equal to x minus a, x minus b, x minus c, where a less than b, less than c. Symmetry about x axis, which is not passing through origin, as if we expand the brackets, there will be a constant term present. Putting x equal to 0, we don't get any, uh, uh, any real y. We are getting y square is minus abc. So, this curve is not cutting y axis. And putting y equal to 0, we are getting x equal to abc. So, this curve cuts x axis at 3 points. Now, instead of shifting origin three times, it's better to find a derivative at these points. This is dy by dx and dy by dx at a0, b0 and c0 is infinity. That means at these points, tangents are parallel to y-axis. There is no asymptote to the curve. And from this table, we can understand this curve is present between a and b and x greater than c. Uh, and as x tends to infinity here, y tends to infinity. So, using this, you can draw the curve here. Between a and b, this curve is this shape. And at c, this is tangent, so it's parabolic here. In next example, this is the case of where b equal to c. So, x minus a into x minus b square. Again, symmetry about x axis, not passing through origin you will have two x intercept a0 and b0 and no y intercept. At a0, you are getting tangent, a slope is infinity, so tangent is parallel to y-axis. If you try to find a derivative at b0 here, you will get 0 by 0, which is not defined. So, I will prefer here again, shift the origin to b0, put x equal to x plus b, y equal to y, and this gives equation y square equal to x plus b minus a into x square and the lowest degree term is y square equal to there is actually y is equal to plus minus root b minus a into x these are the two tangents at b0 there are no asymptotes for this curve and obviously the region of absence is very easy here when x is less than a y square will be less than 0 so curve is present uh, absent in that part of x less than a with this property this is the curve here this is a0, tangent at a0, at b0, these two lines are tangents, and this curve goes to infinity further. Okay, finally, here b equal to c, so y square is equal to x minus a cube. Again, symmetry about x axis, not passing through origin, uh, x equals 0 gives again no real y, so no y intercept y equals 0 gives x equal to a. So, the curves, the curve is cutting x x at a 0. To find tangent, shifting the origin, you are getting y square equal to x cube and the lowest degree term is y square equal to 0. So, y equals 0, that is x axis tangent at a 0. For this curve, there are no asymptotes. Curve is present for x less than, uh, if x is less than a, y square less than 0. So, the curve is absent in that part and present for x greater than a. And here this is a0, x axis tangent means it's a cusp and this goes to infinity. This curve is called cubical parabola. And finally, we saw this last example here. y into x square minus 1 is equal to x square plus 1. Here, symmetry is about y axis as the powers of x are even. Constant term is present, so not passing through origin. Putting x equal to 0, we are getting y is minus 1. So, curve is cutting y x at 0 minus 1. y equal to 0 gives x square is minus 1. So, it is not cutting x axis. 
no real x intercept shifting origin to 0 minus 1 we are getting this equation here and equating lowest degree term we are getting y equal to 0 that is x axis is the tangent at 0 minus 1 to find asymptotes highest power of y is y only coefficient is x square minus 1 equating to 0 we get x equal to plus minus 1 as the asymptotes to find asymptotes parallel to x axis combine the coefficients of x square and the coefficient is y minus 1 equal to 0 so y equal to 1 is also an asymptote so this code has three asymptotes x equal to plus minus 1 and y is equal to 1 y is equal to 1 to find region of absence here express x square as a function of y the sign of x square will change at 1 or minus 1 and you can easily find that between minus 1 and 1, x square will be negative, so curve is absent in that part. And this is the curve finally here. This is x axis, y axis at 0 minus 1. This line parallel to x axis is tangent, and these two lines are asymptotes, so tends to infinity. Now, here these two lines are tangents, and so this is the shape of the curve as x tends to 1, y tends to infinity. And as y tends to or x tends to infinity. Similarly, using symmetry, the curve is present here. So, I hope with these discussions, you can practice and try to draw the curves. Thank you.